place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. <laughs> so, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Mm -hmm. Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Market, maiming, murdering, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. Wait, do we have to fight right away? Yuffie's this ready. This is our stop. Okay, okay. Uh... Sure, cold reception. Yeah, this looks like we will have to fight in just a bit. So I'm gonna guess that um, the date with Tifa, the gondola ride, will come later, much later. Next time when we are back at the gold saucer. Well, let's see how this goes on. Um, oh, I have this one. The Space Ranger Service Medal. A medal awarded to new recruits who have risked life and limb in defense of the galaxy. Increases strength and magic power by 5%. I didn't even know I had that. Oh. Okay. Uh, did I forget anything else? I don't think so. Uh, the Silver Brawler's Gloves, an award presented to fighters who have demonstrated grit and tenacity worthy of recognition. Slightly increases the limit gauge charge rate upon staggering a foe. Okay. I think the rest I've seen so far, but those were new. That's interesting. All right then, no coming back. Then let's move on. What was... Some bird? Okay, okay. Okay, this looks way different already. I can tell. Welcome to Coral Prison. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Mm-hmm. Stay sharp. Uh, Yuffie, could you just wait a sec? Shit. That's actually a weapon of um, clouds. <laughs> Top of the morning. Solemnitude Manor. <laughs> well, now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Uh, uh. <laughs> so why do we still have our we weapons? <laughs> you just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! <laughs> he has gold teeth? Okay. Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to Gus. my desert oasis, hmm. Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> the pooch? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at <laughs> now, you may not know me, but I know you. He reminds me of Cell from Final Fantasy VIII. Tell you why? Cause it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice. Uptown secrets always trickle down. 
Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? This I got him under man. lock and key, out in the middle of the dunes. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if He's I can get about something dying. from you first, understand? A right. little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad friggin' daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. Such a weird dude. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. Oh. On that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Right, no. You're kidding. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? <laughs> All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> this is definitely well, way different. Is New Queen's Bell players field. await your challenge in you the Dust Bowl. Um, okay. Thing for Can I talk to my guys before we leave? Could you please? I just hope Barrett's safe out there. Be careful, okay? Sure, always. No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Thanks, guys. Hey, Creepazoid! What are you planning on doing with us? <laughs> Suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. <laughs> I wanna see you try. That could be I fun. I just hope Barrett's safe out there. Be careful, okay? Okay then, let's get moving. But at least I'm not alone this time. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. Yeah, and just a bit. I just want to take a look around a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we have a chest here. An umbral blade. That's definitely for Cloud. A mystifying sword forged from a gem that emits an eerie glow. And the ability is Prime Mode. Strength and Punisher Mode. Hold down attack to deliver three consecutive strikes. Increases Berserk Potency. Efficiency bonus finish off an enemy while active. Okay. We do have one more slot that is actually quite nice. So we're gonna take it right away and take a look what else we can get. Enhanced physical guard, reduces physical damage by 5% while guarding. Formidable counter, increases punisher mode counter damage by 15%. Reprieve, prevents incapacitation once per battle. Does not work against instant death attacks or when HP is at 1. Interesting, that's not too bad. Max HP plus 200. And restorative MP saver, reduces MP cost of healing spells by 10%. So and just to be safe, we're gonna go for HP and reprieve. Sure. Then I'm gonna put one more... Materia in, and then we're gonna continue. What are you doing? Run, damn you! <laughs> okay. Okay, just see some pictures, but okay. I don't think that I can recognize anything else on the walls. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Survive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another pool table. Right, let's go outside. Yeah, this is the um, the nail bat, I think, it was called in the original. I think we should get this weapon too, but the downside of this weapon was that you do not have any slots for materia. Yeah, but it was very powerful when it comes to attacks. Yeah, sure. You know we still got your friends, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so we're gonna take a look around further later. 
Yo, makeshift Choco Boutique. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimpy. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Huh? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? What is he oh, doing here? Hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer. Wait, this is my bird. Racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Aww. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. More fetch quests, okay. I'm coming too. Okay then, grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Right, then we need to find some greens to feed Pico. Alrighty, right. So, anything else we can talk about? Doesn't look like yeah. it. Don't you dare go disappointing my man, Gus. Yeah, oh, shut up. You. Okay, we need to find a bunch of stuff. Right, now we're gonna take a look around, and then we'll see what we can find. Actually, let's take a look at the map beforehand. So, what do we have? We have Desert Rush, Tech Shop, there's a Sugar Boutique, Snaps, oh, Snaps is here as well. House of Cards. Chadley is here. We have a rest spot. We do have Magneta Books. Dead Silent Shop. Max Volume Shop. There are three. Level six. Hmm. I want to do these, definitely, just to see if I can make it. And a community notice board as well. So there's way more than I thought that we can do. There's the elevator back. And this is the elevator to the races. Okay, then. Right. Yeah, let's take a look around. There's a way down. Okay. And this is still locked. Hmm. Uh, Chadley looks weird. He's in costume. Okay, okay. Uh, nice. Uh, there are some bikes. Wait, can we go outside? Oh, no, this is actually blocked by wood again, so we can't go further. Some dune buggies or, uh, jeeps, I wanna say. Thinking of making a run for it, are you? No, not really. Can't leave my friends behind. Okay then, uh, let's talk to Chadley. Hey, Cloud, it's me, Chadley. This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? All these <laughs> like are known to elicit a calming effect, so I should be safe. For I'm now, yeah. We can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of its innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Okay. All right, I just check. There's nothing new for now. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but. I've observed that world intel collection. Yeah, 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 just stay salt. Yeah, yeah, certain, just be quiet. However, a veteran mercenary like uh, you would never abandon a task. Yeah, Chadley. Chadley, shut up. Okay, okay. I can buy no some need cards to say of you. A word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for Chocobo Greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. What do you need? My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Okay. And before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. Oh, okay, we're gonna buy them. I'm only missing one. Let's get this one. And that's actually it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at these later. And then we're gonna... We might have to create a new deck, actually, for those... Games we have to do. Defeat the Queen's Blood players in the casino. Um, I think we have to talk to him again then. Those are, those are not these players. 
Wait, the ones in the casino? Wait, aren't those the ones I had no chance of beating so far? Uh, hopefully they are not the same. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, who are you? Wise! Ah, wise! Your Queen Tessence level is no match for mine. Improve your performance to challenge me. Mm, I need to be level 7. Uh, I think this will come much, much later. Okay, this is a cozy rest. Just some hammocks and that's actually it. Okay. Uh, I don't know where this goes. We're gonna go there later. Welcome. Another Greetings, one who wants friends, something. Okay. Yeah, those are the three we have to defeat. Okay. Another one who needs something. <laughs> he looks promising. Uh, you got it. Just straight ahead. <laughs> what the hell? What's I coming? Gonna hurt ya, promise. Um. Oh, am I holding you up? Hey there, buddy. Shit. Guess I'll wait here. <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. I want to see what happens. Can I Let's please go move? somewhere more quiet? <laughs> We're just gonna fight, or I'll what's gonna happen? To show you how things work around here. Oh, there's a chest. I'm, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't bite. Well, we'll see. Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? Got some money. Nothing interesting over there. What you going that way for, man? Uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Not far now. It's a fight against something, right? And here we are. <laughs> Now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. Oh. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I fought enemies, so this it's might be difficult. It's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Um, that was easy. You know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. <laughs> Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. A bundle of silky greens. We'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Mm-hmm. Right, boys? Yeah. yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you. But we won't do it again. Promise! Uh, okay. I should have actually used my new ability. I did not. I was just trying to kill them quickly and it looked easier than I thought it would be. But, um, okay, I'll take it. A basketball hoop. Do we have a ball or something? I'd like to play. Hmm. Nah, doesn't look like it. That would be fun. But... Yeah. All right, on we go. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. There's an auction, okay. Can we buy something? I don't think so, right? Oh, there's a doggy. And another dog over there. I don't, don't know what they're bidding on, but, uh, okay. We'll just let them be. Mm, another, another door is locked. Or oh, another door locked. And we have a bar here. Somebody else wants something. Uh, ooh, can we get a drink? Just for free? <sighs> you seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. <laughs> we take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. Okay, interesting. They have a band as well. Okay, okay. Alright, let's talk to Snaps. 
Why, hello. Good to see you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion? Really? Here? Okay. Some thugs literally ran me out of town. Made for great action shots. Corral Cactor photo frame. Their mm -hmm. I've already got solid pictures of the prison, so let me know if you find any other good backdrops. All right then, scenic spot. Let's take a look where this is. Can we go there? I don't think so. Or maybe can we? So we can go out here and... No, no, we can't yet. This is outside. Okay, this comes later. Right, so we have seen some other dudes. Before we talk to those, we're gonna try our hands at these three guys and hopefully we can defeat them. Uh, where do we wanna start? Let's start on the right with a girl. Sure. Hey, Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? <laughs> well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh, you big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. Alright then. Uh, ooh, yeah, right. We still need to defeat one to, re uh, to raise our rank. Uh, replacement cards. You now own a replacement card, which can only be placed on top of an ally card already on the board, effectively replacing them. Replacement cards have two major benefits. They do not require a rank to be placed. They can trigger cards whose abilities only activate when destroyed. Some even have abilities that absorb the destroyed card's power. Replacement cards are strong enough to turn the tide of battle if used correctly, so think long and hard about when and where you will play them. Ha. Huh. I just want to see which one in the replacement card is. I don't know. I've looked at every card and I don't know. Doesn't matter. We're gonna get started. Uh, this is for the Death Claw. When enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. As always, I'm gonna start with my standard deck just to see if it's somehow possible. And if not, we're gonna have to edit it and yeah, try something different. Right, let's get started. Well, this is a win already, because she can't play any more cards. She has 8 points, I have 9. So let's just finish this. This one is done. Easy win. 24 to nothing. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Cool. To be honest, the fights at the Gold Source are much more difficult. Right, Deathclaw. Well, shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear. And now we are a Black Knight. Sure fire ticket to victory. I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank. Holy shit, way she was drinking much, a lot. Blacked out in the middle of a match and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced to the max. So watch out, boyo. <laughs> if you say so, okay. Uh, Chatley? Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. 
There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corral. The other floating guy. Proving yourself as a knight. I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Yeah, yeah. This will come later. Much, much later. Yeah, yeah. I know it. I know it's the dude. We have talked to him twice. All right, all right. On we go. Next one is going to be this dude over here. The golden statue guy. Come one and... May I help you? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. You are already. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. Okay. Right. Uh, we have to defeat three more. Well, then, okay, wait. Yeah, these two here and then the other guy in North Corral. And then we would be the next level. Yeah. Although, no. We have to defeat the Keeper anyways. And then these two and then a third, which we haven't seen yet. Okay, okay. Well, let's go and fight Pietro. We will get Joker. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. Okay. As always, we're going to try with our standard deck. Here we go. Mm. Should I do this already? Should I go for this one? I'm not happy so far, I have to say. Ah, let's go for this one. Right center. Ooh, that's not good. No, that's not good. That's fine. This should be... No, 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 not really. Ah, oh, I would have needed the wolf down there. Shit. Ah, well, let's do this. Again, this looks like a win because I can't play any more cards. So, we are gonna play... Well, it doesn't matter, really. Let's play this. No, actually, not... No, no, no. We're gonna play this one. And we won. Sure. Nice. All rows are mine. Beautiful. And done! It's weird that those matches are really quite easy and the one at the gold saucer are so difficult. Well, at least for me. Completely demolished. I did. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. Wouldn't you agree? Well, it wasn't the Someday, greatest. <laughs> I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention. So maybe losing was for the best. Hmm. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. No. Done with you. One more to go. The spike head guy over here in the corner. What's up? What do you want? Oh, I did it again! Hey, sorry, old habit. No harm, <laughs> Please don't go. I'm begging you. I want to play a game of quiz. What? I promise, that's all. I have a hard time talking to people, and, well, I know I'm not the friendliest looking guy, so... Maybe I change it? anyone to go around. Anyway, uh, the name's Jack. You, uh, wanna play with me? Pretty please? Sure, I'll give it a try. Alright, we would get the Thug. This card has no abilities, but he has nice spots, actually, and four points, but you need a two pawn. Okay. Right, here we go. Standard deck as always. And if I say a standard deck, I mean to... I mean, of course, my standard deck. So, uh, let's get rid of you for now. Mm, sure. Going to the center first. Mm-hmm.
Alrighty then. Yeah, I should wait for... Yeah, yeah, let's do it like this. Um, I shouldn't do this yet. Let's go for you down here. Although we could go for the middle already. This might not be the best idea yet. No, let's go for this one first. Okay, okay. Hmm. I know that doesn't do much, but still. Let's just get the pawn down there. He will have to play at the bottom. He's not gonna... Oh, he's doing it like this. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to lose my three up there, so let's put you here. And then we might lose the one down there, and then I lost. Oh, he didn't take it. All right, I'll take it. But I still lost so far, because I still have two less points. 13 to 11, I won. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny. Sure. Let's get some more points. I'll take it. <laughs> 28. At uh, 21 to 6. Nice, nice. Right. Three games, three first tries, and three wins. Cool. <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined. I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your guard down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the judgy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because True. you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Maybe lose the mask and change your hair. This could be helpful as well. All right. We have done all three of these guys. And now we're going to go back. There are some people around who still want us to do some side quests like this dude down here. Let's activate all of them. And then we're going to see which one we're going to do first. Right. Uh, getting Let's by get right in a cruel world. Swindling. The key is to never tell the truth. This may sound easy to some, but do not be fooled. There is a depth to the art of deception. It is a skill you must hone. And what better way to learn than a little practical application? Okay. Now then, let us begin. You, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Okay. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate. The Swindler's sure Challenge. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to take a look at the, at the Swindler's Challenge in just a bit. Swindling Seminar. Conoving Caglio is holding a seminar, instilling five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Your mission. Discern which one of his disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gil, no refunds, so choose wisely. Investigate his pupils' potential lies by visiting notable locations around the Dust Bowl. Review your notes at any time with the left button and press L1 to take a closer look. Okay. Uh, L1. Oh, I have to hold. All right, so there are five spots. We're gonna go to those first and foremost. Uh, we're gonna start with one and then two, three, four, and five. Yeah, let's go it like this, that we have the right order. And then let's see what this is all about. All right, uh, number one. Is probably around here. There, I wanna say. Well, actually a little bit further. Maybe it's ah where the auction is. Maybe there. Okay, let's take a look. The question is, do we have to talk to them first? You know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on end and still not feel it. Uh they are watered down, that is true actually. Okay, okay, okay. Um so we now know this is about the bar. Okay, second. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. 
I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? I'm quite certain he's not selling potions. Let's check this. So it looks like for now that number one is lying. Is, is not lying, is telling the truth. So, weapons, weapons. Let's go over there. Silence is sacrosanct. Okay. He does not sell potions, so she's lying. That's true. Okay, beautiful. So, let's go to number Don't three. Skimp on gear. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. Meditations of the Outlaw Life, bookstore. Bookstore. It's over there. Let's take a look. Um, can we see it from here? Hmm, let's see. If you're looking to get stronger, my store has everything you'll need. This is not what I'm looking for. What do you think of my store? Be honest. It's the best you've ever seen, right? Ah, over here. Oh, you have an eye for fine literature. That's the first volume of Solemn Gus's best-selling autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. So it's, it's here. So he was a lying. It's little boy who dreamed of running his very own prison. Like the tagline says, there's a bit of Gus in all of us. <laughs> You'd be a fool to miss this chance to partake of Gus's wisdom. By the time you've read to the end, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Yeah, I bet. Okay, okay. So, number three is also lying. I'm still certain that number one is the one who's telling the truth. So, we're gonna talk to number four next. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol Cactuar. Del Sol Cactuar, number four. Down there. So it should be around here. I, I've seen some graffiti, definitely. But I don't know if there was Cactuar as well. Well, it's full of graffiti, definitely. I'm quite certain there is no Cactuar, so she's lying. Right? No, I don't have time for you. Oh, there's the bird. Okay. Yeah, so I want to say there are no cactors. So I think she was lying because she said she liked the cactor the most. So let's talk to number five and then see what he's going to say. Have you tried the beast battleground yet? I hear that type zero monsters are real toughy. Beast battlegrounds? Is it this one? Does it rush? I have no idea what else it could be. Beast Battlegrounds. Alright, let's take a look over here at the Desert Rush. Let's see if this is what he means. Uh, what was the beast? Something Have you zero? Tried the beast battleground type yet? zero monster. I hear that type Maybe type zero <laughs> will be the first enemy and it will be quite place. easy. That's we'll see. Uh, no, this is definitely not the one. Because this is about hitting boxes and stuff. Um, we're not gonna do this yet. So then maybe it's the one with the ladder which goes down. Maybe it's this one. No, this doesn't seem right either. Ew, it is. Beast Battleground. Okay, okay. Okay then. Welcome to Beast Battleground. So, you looking for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. Okay, we have to do this anyways. Right. Field of Nightmares, Portent of Ruin and Unknown Error. Okay, we have to actually defeat the third one to get the silky screens. This is what we need. All right, then let's get started uh, with number one. Of course, Cloud, because we don't have anyone else. Okay, prime mode uh, on. It doesn't matter. Are you ready? Right, once again. You had your chance. That's that. Cool. That's a nice attack. Master the prime mode ability. Already? That was quick. <laughs> All done. Unnecessary materials gathered for the headband. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, this was not type 0 enemies, I think, right? 19 seconds? <laughs> Alright, I think we're just gonna continue with Portent of Ruin. Ah, 
Ow. Try this. Once again, this was not type 0 enemy. So I feel like it has to be this one then. Silky's Cup final round, unknown error. Defeat the fiend and procure warning. Unknown error occurred. Compete in bout to resolve issue. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. This is just zero. Okay, okay. Uh... Best do it right. What do we have here? When its HP is low, it will play dead. While in the state, attacking it along with blocking or evading its subsequent counter strikes will pressure it. Okay. And weakness is fire. Whoa. You're dead. Gotcha. What the hell? Ow. Oh, that's not good. You're dead. Gotcha. This ends here. Come on. Let's do this. Sorry. And again, and done. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nothing to it. This may be number five, wasn't lying? Hmm. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, there's still a quest an exclamation mark. You looking to play with some monsters? There's more! Hmm... Should we do this right away? It's level 30, I think they're gonna get tougher with every level. I'm gonna try this once, let's see if this is possible. Oh, okay. Damn it. Going in. God dang it. Stop it already. Wow, 
one is done. Oh, come on, I was invading. Actually, I think I should do these later when I have my party members with me, right? Or that just one, because then I could just level up one person? Hmm. Yeah, it's always one member. Chicken or the Explosive. Ways of the Fist Volume 3. This is for Tifa. Actually, as we are here, I'm just gonna try and get this too. This is two levels above me. I might just fuck it up. Uh, items cannot be used. Actually, let me just get some healing item for myself or healing spell and then I'm gonna try this. Oh, and there's a bomb as well. myself quickly. Uh sure. Second wave. We got a little present for Tifa for later. <laughs> Proof of life. Beast killer badge. Okay. Defeat misbegotten enemies shunned by both the world and their creators. Oh, and then this one is actually not the worst enemy. This one is. Yeah. So yeah, this one is the toughie. Let's see if we can do this. And if not, we're gonna move on for now. Two of those. Okay. Are oh, you gonna be fucking kidding me? Yeah, no, I can't. I can't do this. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I tried it once. Uh, that was quite difficult. <laughs> We're not gonna do this. Not yet. We're gonna get this later. And then I might just do this with Barrett or so. Someone with ranged attacks or so. Yeah, this might be actually more helpful. So we got the noble thieves gloves. Gloves said to have been worn by a band of thieves so virtuous they were thought of as angels. Increases the success rate of steel. Alright, yeah, and the last one we're gonna do this later. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> it's just, it's just way too tough for me. So, yeah, we're gonna focus on this much later, sure. But for now, we're gonna move on and test zero is actually the toughest enemy here. But two test zeros. One was fine, two were quite difficult, to be honest. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna check the bar one last time and then we're gonna decide if number one or five is telling the truth. Because actually five was telling the truth in a way, but one, two. You 
You're hitting that stuff pretty hard. Good thing it ain't too strong. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why I bother. This stuff's more water than booze. Hey, there's sand in my drink. Stuff is more water than booze, so it won't be that. It may be diluted, but it's got a refined taste. Yeah, yeah it's too much diluted. Diluted. So number one was lying as well, so number five should be the right answer, right? You know, I just run by mail jump for some time. Their own specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. Promise. He said something different this you know, time. The bars around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on end and still not feel it. Still, well, it's still right somehow. What was five? Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. It is. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? It's just saying this yet? one. Hmm. I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Yeah, I think number five is telling the truth. Because he said, what did he say? Test Have zero, you tried right? The beast battleground type yet? zero. I hear that type zero monsters are real toughy. No, it's called test zero, not type zero. So number one is telling the truth. Okay, okay. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? Because the watering down, he was actually right. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. The weapon store. You know, I just run by mail jump for some time. Yeah. Their own specialty sunshine? <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir. As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Thanks, I guess. And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Where did you go? I hear you talking, but... Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, it's three, but there's still more. I still want to check the rest. So this is still down here. The peculiar card players. I would like to do this too. I'm going to take a look around. I think there was someone else who wanted to, who wanted something from me. Right. The bar guy, right? He had something. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to him. 